today. Uh, it is April 9th, and it is 4.30, and so um, we're going live here on Facebook, and uh, hope you have a chance to come and join us today. And you'll see that uh, I'm going to start out today's broadcast with a little workout, and there's a reason for that. Because my friend uh, and my chiropractor, Dr. Matt Kamenosh, reminded me that in order to keep our bodies healthy and strong, to fight off viruses and all kinds of infections, then we've got to exercise, we've got to eat right, we've got to take care of ourselves. So I'm trying to take care of myself here, Dr. Matt, do a little workout here with these light weights and hope that uh, you're staying fit. I'll getting to see you in your office, and I hope we'll get our cat on the video soon. I know you really like to see our cat. And uh, actually, we have a special show scheduled with just the cat. <laughs> oh, man, i got to watch out there. <laughs> so uh, uh, we're going to have a special cat show uh, talking about adoption because our cat was adopted by TV and we can find out what that means to be adopted. So... Working out here, trying to stay strong and to be built up. And keep in mind that the Bible has a lot to say about getting built up, but not just uh, physically, spiritually as well, and the importance of building each other up. And I received an email from another good friend of mine, Bruce Kraut. We've known each other since kindergarten. He's a fellow believer. And, uh, hey, Dave, good to see you on here, Brother Wolf. And uh, here's what it says. It's talking about keeping our relationships strong during this difficult time. And one of the suggestions it had was simply this. Now is not the time to be pulling out mistakes. Instead, now is the time for appreciation. It's really important for people to look for what people are doing right and to express appreciation for it. And uh, we all could use a little bit of that, being built up, not just um, physically, but also spiritually and emotionally as well. So I want to take just a minute, and as I've already posted a general thank you on uh, Facebook for those who prayed for our blood drive, which we held yesterday at the church, I'm going to shout out a few names, people who participated, came out and gave blood. Joe Agretto, Denise Ash, Steve Davey, Pam Fuji, Bill and Terry Schimmel, Betsy Heil, my old friend Dave and Mary Schrag came out, Pam Clark. Also Tom Davey, Tom Coggin, Barry Blackman, all were there helping with the logistics and making sure that everything uh, went smoothly. So really appreciate that and everybody who prayed for that. I heard from the Red Cross this morning that the amount of blood that, that was donated yesterday is enough to benefit at least 111 people, which I think is pretty awesome. And so um, I hope that you know more opportunities like this will come up. And we just want to continue to build each other up for the good things we're doing. People are doing great things out there. I want to share a little bit from the scripture about the importance of building each other up. In Romans chapter 14, the Apostle Paul says, So then we pursue the things for making peace and building up one another. That's what we've got to do. In 2 Corinthians 10, he says, The Lord gave me authority for building you up. And then again in chapter 13, he says, The authority that the Lord gave me for building up, not for tearing down, okay? In Ephesians 4.12, the five-fold ministry description, it says it exists for the equipping of the saints for the work of service to the what? Building up of the body of Christ. And Ephesians 4.16 says, Then the whole body being fitted together and held together by what every joint supplies, because we need each other, according to the proper working of each individual part, causes the growth of the body for the what? Building up of itself in love. 
And then you can summarize with this verse from 1 Thessalonians 5.11, where the Apostle Paul says, Therefore, encourage one another and build up one another, just as you are also doing. Tiffany Ficinelli, thank you for uh, liking our, our little post here today. And um, so we're trying to build each other up. We need that, you know, because the, the times we're in can wear us down, can be discouraging. We see numbers showing up in the news, and we hear that the time of staying at home might be extended longer, and it can be a little bit tough. So build each other up uh, through whatever means you have, and especially build up those people who are right in your own household there. You're sharing this roof that you have to stay under together. Don't, you know, there's going to be things you're going to see that maybe you're not too happy with, but don't focus on those. Focus on the good things. Focus on the positive things that your family members were able to do uh, to help each other through this time. And I want to do a little song here, and it's called Arms of Love. This is really one of my favorite uh, songs of all time. My neighbors going by, they were good friends, and just gave them a little way encouragement, too. This song's about the arms of love that Jesus holds us with. And, um, but I want you to remember, too, that we can be the arms of love for each other. So it goes like this. I sing a simple song of love to my Savior, to my Jesus. I'm grateful for the things you've done. My loving Savior, oh precious Jesus, my heart is glad, cause you called me your own, and there's no place I'd rather be than in your arms of love, in your arms. Holding me still, holding me near in your arms of love. Yeah, there's no place I'd rather be than in the arms of the Lord's love. And he's holding us in his arms. Hey, Rob, thanks for hitting the like button there. And, um, the Lord is holding us in his arms of love, but we are also his arms of love. And in this time when we're really told, don't hug other people, don't shake hands, uh, you know, the head of the government, CDC, they're all saying maybe one, we're never going to shake hands again. I don't know, but I, I, I don't think that's going to be the case. But we can lift each other up. We can build each other up. We can encourage one another, if not with our physical arms, with our words. So you can give lots of word hugs. I want to give you all a word hug. I love you guys so much. And uh, I'm just privileged to be able to speak a few words of encouragement to you each day and uh, to know that some of you are tuning in and listening and sharing with others. My wife just put on there a little encouragement, a little hug for me. It says, beautiful song, honey. And, uh, and a little while later, I'll go upstairs and she give me a real hug, too. So that's even better. But... Uh, but this is what we can do for each other. So uh, I thank you guys who wished my mother happy birthday, my brother happy birthday yesterday. Uh, a lot of family members were not able to be together right now, but we love each other. We love you guys. And uh, remember that uh, we're going to have our services on Easter Sunday morning uh, at 9 at 1030 for Praise Tabernacle. We're also going to have a special children's message between the two services at 10 o'clock with my little puppet friend Clarence. And um, so tune in for those. I'll be back tomorrow with a Good Friday message at uh, 4.30. I'll be keeping straight on through as long as this takes. I'll be here every day at 4.30, Lord willing, uh, to bring you a little message of encouragement and to be encouraged by you and your comments too. So love you. God bless you all. See you tomorrow.